ServiceNow. To access ServiceNow to report an incident or submit a request, go to dts.utah.gov. Get help. Then make a selection from the options displayed. Live chat is available Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Phone support. Make your selection based on your agency. If you are not certain which option you need, please phone the DTS Capital Help Desk. Online support. Make a selection from the options displayed. Login. Navigation in ServiceNow. Depending on which UI user interface you have running, you may or may not see icons in the upper left corner of the screen. You can change your interface by clicking on the Switch UI option in the upper right corner of the screen. To turn the application navigator on or off. To turn the system banner on or off. Split the screen horizontally or vertically for a combined list and form view. Create and manage bookmarks. Bookmarks are created by dragging a link to the left edge. Bookmark and Painbase UI help. On the right side of the banner is where you can log out, switch back to your home page, or print. Use the Type Filter text to quickly access applications. Try typing Incident to see how the list shortens. The A's will adjust the font size on your screen. Refresh the list here. Select options by clicking on any item under the heading in the list. Collapse or expand the header list below by clicking on the chevrons. Self-service home page. Users have access to How May We Help You, Create a New Incident, Firewall Request, Fleet Gas Card Incident, VPN Client Services Access. My Incidents by State displays a graph of all the customer's tickets by the state they're in. News lists messages from DTS to the customers. Quick Links is a fast way for you to link to other applications or services. FAQ is where training information and frequently asked questions about ServiceNow are located. My Requested Items displays the user's open purchase requests. My Open Incidents displays the user's open incidents. Service Catalog. This displays some of the same items as on the home page. Knowledge is still under construction. Incidents. This shows all users' active incidents. Watched Incidents. This shows incidents that are for future reference. You can add an incident to your watch list by selecting an open incident, add yourself, and update. Then to remove yourself, watched incidents, the incident number, highlight your name, delete, and update. Requested items. This shows all purchase requests by the user. Watch requested items shows purchase requests for future reference. My profile. This is where users can view their profile information. Users and technicians can set their notification preferences. Business case. Business case training is available. Port an incident or submit a request. Select create a new incident from under the May We Help You section of the home page. Enter a brief description of your issue in the short description field. Enter detailed specifics on the issue in the next section. You can attach documents to your request by clicking on the paper clip in the upper right corner of the screen. Then click the Submit button. You may make any additions or changes to the incident on this screen. The Save button saves your changes and leaves you on the same page. The Update button saves your changes and takes you back to the service catalog. This concludes the ServiceNow training.